everyone welcome to my another video of plan surf and today we're gonna learn how to create a template for wall area so let's begin before we learn the advanced way which is template let's just see one basic example most of the people how they measure wall area they depend on linear they click on linear they give item name maybe it's a plastering it's a painting or another item name just give item name the ingenious they choose color name press ok and they highlight now in this way once they highlight what is the problem in this way first they get only meter running meter only so uh, running meter is here and same it's there it's not a wall area it's not covering complete requirement so what engineers do they maybe use calculator or they use excel sheet individually separately outside so it takes extra time this is the basic way of working it's fine there's no issue dealing in this way but that's the basic way now i will show you how you can save you more time and get the maximum benefit from plan shift. so let's say it what i really want to show in this video i minimize i can hide from here temporary now instead of clicking here i will create a template click on a template you will find that there are already some sample templates will not depend on it let's create a new template let's create a new tab it's better give a name test now we have our own test tab here we can create our own template so our template is it related to area or linear or count we can choose it it's related to area or linear now I clicked here I can give a name uh, wall as an example now there are two options maybe I can create many template wall 100 separate wall 200 separate painting type 1 2 3 so in this case I have to spend a lot of time on the other side the smart way is you can create only one template and next time you can just change a name wall type 1 wall type 2 so same and one individual template can cover all the requirement fine uh, I created a template I give a name choose color press ok so now you see template is created on the right side I can see the template if it's minimized you can click here now it's created but it will not appear in sample uh, sample template because I created my own tab which is test fine so one formula one template is created now what exactly I want in this template so I can customize anything you want to add it it's right click in property once you click here soft will allow you to add it name and colors are fine and by the way if you want to change a hedge pattern you can change here as well fine let's just focus on uh, formula click on advance you can see here all the existing properties so here we can see the name of the existing properties our concern is takeoff data and today our focus is wall area and height so anything we want to see on the form we have to check if we want to see the height we can check height and check before we, uh, showing you the example see software always give us a name what if I uncheck the name so it means next time on the form name will never appear advance because I check the height that's why height appear if I uncheck height will not appear as well fine so in advance we need to see the name plus the height I checked whatever I want to see there are so many properties we can deal accordingly but I check the height next time height will appear as well the name fine few advanced things click on advance if you need to adjust the layout and by the way if you want to see the width as well you can turn on the width also it's here turn on if you want to adjust the lay form layout so it's here click here form layout next time it will ask you for the name width and wall height do you want to see the units also because right now there are no units so on the left side you can see it you can firstly drag down up you can adjust as you want if you want to see the units you can check now you see units are here meter centimeter next time you can choose but you can just keep it on fine press ok click here on form when you click this will be the view from next time 
if you are okay then you can press okay but we need to adjust more right click property most important thing click here advanced see quantity software always show you takeoff which is meter in this case our requirement is not a meter it's a square meter maybe it's a square millimeter or cubic meter you can choose accordingly but in this uh, case our concern is square meter by the way if you belong to a region where units are feet or inches you can choose accordingly the formula is same so i choose here square meter press ok the formula is created now go to home tab by the way this formula now will be here for all the projects and also we can share with our colleague import and export we have created we can share with our friend or colleagues okay fine go to home tab now it's a new project we have done nothing here so how we can use our template by the way if i click on linear it's still same which is meter we don't want this so on the right side we can see here template if we click here it will show us all there is most of the time people say only sample it's for just to give you a few example only but the template that you have created it's in test you have created only one so let's use it when i press this green button it appear with the same settings with the width with the height same setting so what is the type maybe it's wall 102 or um, as you want to go by the paint name material wise you can provide the name of the item width you can provide the width here as well meter centimeter you can choose the unit wall height maybe 2.5 according to the we can go to the elevation or section we can see the details there and we can change the units including inch and feet we can choose as we want press ok now you see here earlier when we created in a basic way that time it was only meter now it's square meter fine let's say it so you will see now i highlight it from here to there highlight right click and stop i have the total square meter here and there so it covers our requirement directly later we will have many wall instead of clicking here we'll press this button okay again now wall 2 we choose different color width is different and height is different as an example press ok so I can highlight ok it's from here to there highlight it's somewhere else I can highlight there as well at the end I can see on the left side both offers me square meter right click and stop both offer me square meter so it's easy same time my requirement is clear if I go to estimating tab I can see the total quantity and this wall height and wall area is also there in square meter but for the first one the basic way is still pending and maybe i need to add manually later or maybe i can use calculator still it's meter so you know that's how you can cover the requirement now one question uh right click in property if you remember we added the width we add the width still it's not applied because scale is incorrect on this page so we have to set the scale scale is compulsory to set according to the reference so i will click here scale clear scale scale is gone now values are zero i will find any dimension scale 11.80 this is the one my suggestion is always go for the longest uh, dimension it will give us the accurate result press ok it's from here to there once I provide the reference you see here now the width is exactly as we want it wall 100 is also exactly as we want it and the values it's also updated and if we want to hide uh, highlight here wall 100 or 200 you will see it activate it and if I highlight something, it's exactly as per wall. So in this case, it's easy for us to present. And same time, we have the result as we want. So that's it. I hope you learned the concept. Enjoy this video. And if you want to really learn more about the software, you can simply visit my YouTube channel. And here you will find out more videos related to software 
specifically if you want to learn about MEP trade or civil and architecture there are quick videos quick tutorial it will help you to learn and be a master of plan swift there are some videos about customization of plan swift some other queries it will help you to learn more so if you really like this video just subscribe the channel and stay tuned because in future i'm going to upload more smart videos about the software thank you so much